How are you feeling after a war like that? Feeling amazing. You know, uh, nothing feels better than, than getting a win inside of the UFC and especially in front of my family. Did you expect the fight to be like that? Did you expect it to be back and forth like that? Not really. You know, uh, I think I underestimated his chin a little bit just from, you know, his past knockouts. You know, um, he looks like when he got clipped, he fell pretty hard. And I felt like I hit him with a lot of shots and he was just eating them. So, uh, yeah, I was surprised on how much he took. Did you have to make any adjustments because of that? Or did you were you able to stick to your game plan, just wear him down? Yeah, not really. Uh, I just, you know, kept trying to do what I was doing. Um, you know, made a few mistakes, you know, against the fence, kind of against the fence, kind of leaving my head in there, my head low. But, uh, you know, other than that, um, you know, I felt pretty good. You know, I felt like everything went kind of how I was figuring it would. What did you take from your last fight into this fight in order to get the win this time? Just uh, can't accept the bad positions, you know, and uh, I felt like I didn't do that. He put me down once or twice, and uh, I felt like I didn't accept it. I didn't just lay down and, and – let him do what he was trying to do. I uh, eventually worked my way back to my feet and uh, or either got a swept and was on top of him. So um, I think that's pretty much it, just not accepting the positions. We could hear your family on the broadcast. Could you hear everything? Were you able to actually hear that or were you kind of trying to tune that out? No, uh, I can definitely hear them. Um, and, and that's how they are in the gym when I'm sparring. You know, my, my youngest son, he's always trying to holler instructions and to do spinning kicks and stuff like that. So uh, it, it's always fun, but I love it. Uh, you know, and this was his first time being that close, getting able to come to the Apex. You know, the last fight in the Apex was the first fight that they actually gave the tickets out. And uh, we didn't know that until we got here. So my wife came anyway because she was just going to watch the fights in Vegas somewhere and then ended up going to the fight. But this was a time that we knew we were getting the tickets. So uh, I knew for sure I was bringing my boys. How um, special is it for them to be there for you? Uh, I think it's special. I think it's like once in a lifetime opportunities for, you know, uh, kids to, to do that, you know. Um, you know, and, and I feel like, and this is why I love doing what I do so much because of my kids. You know, they, I feel like they get to be the cool kids at school. They get to go to school and say, hey, well, yeah, my dad's in the UFC or my dad just won the ultimate fighter. He fights on TV, you know, and now my kids um, get to come and actually watch a UFC event cage side, basically. You know, how many kids at their school wish that they can even go to a UFC event? So I feel like uh, we're, we're so blessed with all these opportunities. And it's kind of unique, too, because a lot of people, all the fans were talking about it, th th that they could hear him screaming. And it almost makes him part of it, you know, like a little bit more than just an average kid sitting in the crowd. Uh, do you think that he's going to know about, like, are you going to tell him, hey, everybody was talking about you? Like, what do you think he's going to think of that? Absolutely. You know, so uh, and he's our youngest. That's our four year old. But. You know, me and my wife are both on two mixed martial arts gyms. And uh, from the very first day he was born, we went back to work. So he brought his crib to the gym. And, you know, he's in the gym every single day. He's been training jujitsu since he literally can walk. You know, there's videos out there that, of him training jujitsu when he just started walking. And uh, he's still training jujitsu and competing all over the world. He just competed in Las Vegas a couple weeks ago. You know, and uh, what's funny about him is, is all of my kids fight. Even my 13-year-old, he has like eight fights inside a cage already at 13 years old. But my four-year-old, being that he does a lot of competitions, you know, uh, we posted a video and the video went viral. And there's fighters like John Jones and all the big name fighters commenting on it. So he went like TikTok famous. So he's got like 30,000 followers on TikTok that all follow his journey as well. So, I mean, this is just another big part of his journey, you know, and... It's amazing. So what's next? When would you like to get back in there? You know, just whenever the UFC calls, you know, um, I'm going to make sure when they call I'm in shape and I'm ready to go. Um, you know, of course, I'm always going to be on the car with Michael Chandler, my um, ultimate fighter coach. Hopefully, uh, you know, he fights Conor McGregor soon, and I would love to share the car with him. But other than that, it doesn't matter. You know, um, whenever the UFC calls, I show. What do you think of all of that stuff with with him and Connor, do you think he's right to, to sit and wait? Would you be able to sit and wait? If I was Michael Chandler, why not? I mean, he's already accomplished so much in, in the mixed martial arts world. You know, he's done, he's done it all. You know, done it all, but actually be, you know, UFC champion, which he did get to fight for a title. But, you know, other than that, I mean, why not? You get, it's the biggest fight that you'll probably ever have. And it's not like, you know, he, he needs money or anything. You know, th he's just doing this just for that big fight opportunity. So if I was Michael Chandler, I would wait, you know, just to have that big fight. But, uh, you know, I don't know. You know, we'll see what happens. Do you think Conor is actually going to fight again? 
I hope so. You know, um, Connor Connor's a strange one. You know, he's cool one second, then you know he talks smack the other. But uh, you know, I would love to see it. So you know, hopefully it happens. How do you see the fight going if if it ever happens? Happens? Uh, of course, I'm, I'm I might be a little bit biased, but uh, I think Michael Chandler's gonna knock him out. Thank you. Thank you. Feels almost like uh, third time's a charm with this stint with the UFC. Yeah. I mean, when you think about the differences in your life, I mean, I know your kids, maybe that's big, uh, one of the big factors. When you try to think about what has been the difference in this time around, what is there a factor that you can even point at that why things are connecting so well right now? I think it's just that, you know, I've been around for so long, you know, and, and yeah, the uh, earlier times in the UFC didn't really work out for me, but I was young and um, maybe... I don't, I'm not going to say I wasn't ready, but I wasn't as smart as I am now. So I feel like I'm a lot smarter as a fighter now just because I've been in this game for so long. I've fought all around the world. I've fought in the UFC. I've fought all real top opponents. Everybody that I've really fought had went on to get ranked or do co-main events or main events, fight Islam Makachev. So, you know, I fought some of the toughest guys in the UFC. So I really feel that I belong here. And then, you know, I got a chance to go on the Ultimate Fighter yep. and, uh, you know, win the Ultimate Fighter, which is a huge deal. So, uh, yeah, I feel like the time is now. I'm not getting any younger, and uh, I feel like I'm, I'm on a win streak now, so hopefully I can string together, uh, you know, a couple wins and, you know, have a successful career in the UFC. Yeah, and it definitely seemed like the, the ultimate fighter definitely sparked something in you. I know now we have the contender series yep. getting ready to kick back off, but do you still see that there is, obviously it feels for you that it gave you extra, extra value. I mean, like you're on a whole other level now, it seems, since that. I know a lot of people are like, oh, tough, does it really still have a place? You know, when you see people come on, they look at the contender series, but do you still see the value in the Ultimate Fighter series and what it brings to the UFC? Absolutely, because I did both. I won a contract off the contender series and I won a contract off the Ultimate Fighter. And I'm gonna say the contender series is way easier because you know your opponent, you get time to train, and then you show up and you know, it's like a regular fight card, but versus the Ultimate Fighter, you know, you're six weeks away from your family, no contact, no contact to the outside world. You don't know who you're fighting. You're, they, you're pretty much locked in a hotel for yep. two weeks while they're doing all your medicals and stuff. And then you go into the house and then you might find out who you're fighting, depending on the uh, theme of the show. Or you might just get picked one week to fight another guy. So that's much harder, you know. And I don't know if I really gave the Ultimate Fighter the respect it deserved before I went on it. But... Um, and, and, like, I was kind of telling people after my last loss, you know, and everybody's like, well, you know, you know, he, he lost the ultimate fighter because he lost one fight, you know, so he's not the ultimate fighter anymore. And I'm like, dude, losing one fight does, doesn't take away your ultimate fighter because, you know, I went through a slew of guys in that house 10 days back-to-back -back fights yep. to win that title, you know. So uh, it, the ultimate fighter's rough. And, uh, I, it, but was one of the best experiences of my life and uh i have so much more respect for it now and hopefully it stays around forever congrats on the victory thank you